in and out, bobbling. Epps! Yes! Doesn't get much more exciting than that. With only six games remaining in the regular season, it's all about playing for postseason position. Welcome into the show, Christy Thomas alongside the coach. Coach, you put yourself in the number three spot in the league with that thrilling win right there. Yeah, it was uh, some kind of game, Christy, and uh, we worked hard in the game to build a, uh, some double-digit leads, and Mississippi State just kept coming back and thought we had it uh, taken care of in, over, uh, in, in regulation, and, you know, it took us two overtimes. But uh, that was a great hustle play there at the end by Jalea Sidney, and uh, Michaela certainly had an incredible night. Well, let's get started looking at that first overtime. We don't have enough time to talk about regulation. Right, Got to get to that exactly. second overtime. But Michaela Epps really took over in your overtimes. Yeah, Michaela had, um, you know, a good night and, and really was aggressive and was able to get some shots. I thought Brian Goss was really big force in the game, too, defensively. Uh, but um, that was to get us into the second overtime, which it wasn't looking good to get into the second overtime, but there's some transition there in the second overtime. Great, great pass to, to Michaela, and that's just a, a very tough, strong move right there. And, you know, if she can ever get her shoulder square like that right there uh, and get, uh, go down the hill, she can make some plays. She can really make some plays, but got a pretty good look there at the end. And then uh, just a bang, bang play, loose ball play, and, you know, tough, tough way for uh, the game to end for Mississippi State. Great way for, for us to, to end the game. But Mississippi State played a really tough game. Then you went down to Knoxville. Always a tough place to play. Yeah, it's tough. Just didn't, didn't make much happen down there all day long. Uh, struggled in transition. Uh, defense and Tennessee was able to get get a lot of buckets in transition and uh, we just you know struggled to shoot the ball only shot 35 percent and it's a nice step back jumper by uh, Renee. Uh, Asia had a good game she was four for five and then the rest of our posts were one for 13 just could not get anything to fall uh, in the lane and uh, just you know, tough, tough day for us down there. But there's a nice open look for Jennifer in, in, in a set play that we run. And, uh, and so, you know, we just have to bounce back from this one and see if we can uh, continue to improve. But it certainly was a difficult game. 72-58 the final, and Epps led the way with 13 points. Well, there are a new crop of assistants on this staff this season, and one of those fresh faces is on Coach Mitchell's 30-second shot clock. The 30-second shot clock is brought to you by Fayette Heating and Air. 30-second shot clock this week. Welcome in, everybody. What an outstanding addition to Kentucky that we're going to introduce you to today. It's assistant coach from Dayton, Ohio, home of Orville and Wilbur Wright. That's right. Flight. Tamika Williams. <laughs> and you've probably done more for Dayton than Orville and Wilbur. No. Because <laughs> you were balling. No. We are so happy you're on the 30 second shot clock. How you doing? I'm doing great, coach. Just <laughs> are you enjoying your time at Kentucky? Is it fun? Yes, it's been a lot of fun. We have a little fun here. We do. We have a lot of fun. That's why I'm nervous right now because I'm just oh, nervous. Yeah. What you gonna say? Yeah, you just never know. Do you? <laughs> no. You never know. Well, to make a, you were, we're gonna tell the folks, the Kentucky folks, a little bit about you. You're a great player at University of Connecticut, and then went on to have a great professional career. I'm interested. Um, Coach R.M. had just won 900 games. What an accomplishment there. I was wondering what you gained out of the experience of being a, a top-level player and member of a national championship, a couple of national championship teams. Um, I think the same thing, and I think it's something we have here. It's the reason why I came to Kentucky. It, I think it just really takes great people. Mm -hmm. um, when you work with great people every day and we're all putting in and trying to work for a common goal, I think that's the biggest thing is that people around you is what makes it special. Yeah, yeah. Well, what's it like being a professional basketball player? What, what's that experience like? It's a lot of fun. I mean, to play against the best players in the world every day, night in and night out, to really challenge yourself, um, to really get better, have to bring your game every night. It was, it was a great experience. Well, last question I would leave with you. Oh, Do you think they should rename the, the Wright Brothers Airport in Dayton the Tamika Williams Airport? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I disagree. I think <laughs> it should be the Tamika Williams International Airport. Oh, I'm going to talk to the people up in Dayton. I know some people. I know people you know some people in Dayton. It's a big well, city. We're, well, let me tell you something. We're glad we know Tamika. That's Tamika <laughs> Williams. I'm Coach Mitchell, 30 seconds shot clock. Such a great addition to your staff. She's done a great job. Great energy. Uh, just great relationships with our players and 
um, just brings a, a, a great energy to the office every day. And so we love having Tamika Williams here at Kentucky. No question. Well, coming up, Gallatin, Tennessee's finest, everybody's favorite Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kay hooked up with the Marion County Mafia. And we've got pictures to prove it. The guitar the tip of the week is next. The Matthew Mitchell Show is presented by Fayette Heating and Air and is brought to you by Central Bank, Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger. Open eight. Welcome in, everybody. It's another edition of Get Talk Tip of the Week. Whoa, I can't see you. It's, I'm your host, Coach Matthew Mitchell, joined by the fiery, the fantastic, and frankly fun to be around dynamic duo, otherwise known as the Marion County Mafia, Cleveland Good and Rogers, and Michaela Epps. How y'all doing today? Good. That sounds good to me. It's, it's time for the game show Sweeping the Nation. Ask Cleveland. This question is from Beverly Gupton of Campbellsville, Kentucky, hometown of, is that hometown of Christy Thomas or just where she went to school? One of the two. Kevin, what are you majoring in? Yes. On to the shout outs to Luther in Anchorage, Alaska, to Sandy Powell in Lexington, who wants to send a shout out to her daughter, Allison Norris Powell. Well, hello, Allison Norris Powell, but let me say this to you, Sandy. You've got to stop getting on to me for taking so long to respond to you. There's millions and millions of people writing in every week. I can't answer every single one on the shop. Just be grateful that I called your name to Emily McCluskey and Mary Elizabeth Underwood in Nashville, Tennessee, who came to the game Sunday versus Vanderbilt and said they enjoyed talking to Jenna about her cooking show. It's not her cooking show. It's the Matthew Mitchell show. It's not the Jenna show. It's the Matthew Mitchell show. That's, I'm offended by that. We're not sending you a T-shirt. And to Marty Donlin of Florence, y'all, who said he loves this team. Apps, take it away. To Ryan Kirk of Creedmoor, North Carolina, who loves the Lady Cats. We're big in North Carolina, guys. I'm just telling you. We're taking over North Carolina on, on, on the television sets over there. Who loves the Lady Cats and the Marin County Mafia and said he left his minister's message early on Sunday to see us tip off against Vandy. That's dedication, Ron. Well, Ron, well, Ron, Ron, you might want to think about your uh, eternal well-being there, uh, buddy. Uh, well, uh, lady, uh, lady Cats can't help with that. You, you better stay, stay with the good Lord on that one, Ron. Go ahead. And to Paige Sharp, the number one Kentucky fan from Corby, Kentucky. And, of course, a special shout-out goes to Turtle Man and... Turtle Man, Ernie Brown, and the Squirrel, who both live deep in the backwoods of Marion County. Go, Ivan. To Rita Milby of Somersville, Kentucky. I love Rita Milby. Continue. <laughs> who love, love, loves the Lady Cats, especially the Marion County girls. Who are the Marion County girls? Oh, continue. <laughs> to Derek Collins and Hay Hazard, Kentucky, who is spending a shout out to Bria, or sending a shout out to is Bria. She, is he spending a shout out, a Ivan, or is he sending a shout oh, out? <laughs> to Bria Goss. For returning from an injury and being a key factor on the team, and to everybody's favorite, Uncle Bobby. And Aunt look Kay. who showed up in Nashville. Aunt look, Aunt look, Aunt look Aunt hopefully, you're seeing a picture right now of Uncle Bobby and Aunt Kate. If you're not, uh, we'll get it to you next week. T shirt goes to Ron Kirk, who left church early. I'm not sure we should be uh, 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 doing that, but we're going to send one to you anyway, Ron. And Epps is showing you that t shirt right there. Y'all see that Facebook page? Yep. Mm, you know, if you want a t shirt or you want your name called out on television, right into that Facebook, and that's the Guitar Tip of the Week. Have you ever wondered where and how the cats live when they're not living in the gym? Coming up, we're going behind the blue with Bria to show you exactly that. Hey guys, it's Behind the Blue with Bria. Today I have a special treat for you. Today, I'm going to take you through what it's like on my game day. Here at the University of Kentucky, as you can see, we're in our locker room. This is my locker. Um, we go and we have a nice pregame meal. After that, we have to be here two hours before the game. Once we get here, some people go get taped, some people go in the hot tub. I'll come in here, I'll listen to my music, start getting dressed, start getting ready for the game. After that, I start up, get some shots up. About once the 60 clocks get on the clock, um, we start our warm-up with John Spurlock. 
After John um, warms us up with a nice dynamic stretch, the next thing we do is we start shooting, we start um, getting into different groups. So we have our post group and we'll have our guard group. The guards go out there, we'll shoot more shots while the posts work on their hook shots. After about 38 minutes um, left on the clock, we come into our film room. Here in our film room, Coach Mitchell will talk to us about our game plan. We'll come in, we'll sit, and here's my seat right here. We'll come in, we'll sit, we'll listen to what he has to say, how we're going to execute, how we're going to beat our next team. After that, we'll go back in about um, 20 minutes left on the clock to get more ball healing in, to get warm, get our bodies hot. Then we'll come back in here and we'll talk about our matchups, um, our execution, and um, maybe just something how something that he motivates us. He always tells a nice little story to get us pumped for the game. After that, we'll leave the locker room, or we'll leave the film room, and this is where all the magic happens. We'll come down here and our hype man, Lene Harper, who does a great job getting us ready for the game, will come out and we'll start doing a dance. I'm not gonna do the dance for you because I'm not as good a dancer as Lene Harper. But by that time, it's time for the national anthem and time for us to, to beat whoever we got next. Thanks for joining me. Newtown Crossing, the townhomes at Newtown Crossing, and Royal Lexington are designed with UK students in mind. Visit LexingtonStudentHousing.com to apply online. Brought to you by McGee's Bakery in downtown Lexington since 1956. Welcome in, everybody. It's another edition of the Coach's Kitchen. I'm your host, Hall of Fame chef, Coach Matthew Mitchell, and it is the Coach's Kitchen that you've been welcomed into. I'm joined by my co-host and sous chef, celebrity chef, my beautiful wife, Jenna. How are you? Doing well. And quite a bit of a rush today because you want to get off to that workout. Yes. So what's your what's your workout regimen like? Do you, do you lift a lot of weights? Are you into like power lifting or no, not do a lot of hand cleans and jerks and what, what do you what do you do? I uh, spin. Um, spin, that's bicycling. Yes. Okay, you like um, that? To a great place that's just right down the road. And then I also, uh, and then I also lift, uh, but not like power lift. Okay. And then, yeah. Well, you're quite fit. Thank you. You really, really work hard in that area, right? I try. It's a great job. Yeah, great I job. try. Well, I, I, one key to staying fit is what we put in our bodies. Right. And every week we try to bring you delicious, but also nutritious. Yes meals and it looks like that's what we may have in the coach's kitchen today what's going on here jenna we are doing a warm winter salad which is more appropriate in the middle of february is it is it february oh gosh, it's february or is it february because i hear it pronounced the same you know i have to hear it pronounced differently feb Okay. February, because you know there's an R. All right, so for the warm winter but, you know, salad. Two weeks ago or three weeks ago, we did a summer salad, which I didn't really didn't make sense in January. Because but now you, we're doing a warm oh winter gosh. salad. So what's the first step? So the first step is um, saute. Um, well, you can roast or saute some kale and a little olive oil. Salt kale salt. is a superfood, folks. Yep. If you didn't know that. Uh, Brussels sprouts. Um, I've roasted uh, with. Olive oil, salt, and pepper. You know, I'll never forget the first time I was uh, ever even heard of kale. Well, I was in Hawaii. Um, oh my gosh! At Again, the Hawaii nail salon, and you asked me to go with you to uh, to the nail salon, uh -huh. and that was the first time I'd ever been to a nail salon, and also the first time I ever heard about kale. I was reading a, a, a magazine, and in Hawaii, uh, is where I learned about kale. Isn't that kind of an interesting tidbit? That is, and I'm sure. Uh, and I said in, the, in that article, it said that kale is a superfood. Yeah. Is that true? It is true. And one thing what um, about Brussels our sprouts? viewers probably um, have learned about you going to the nail salon, but have not learned anything about this recipe. Oh, well, which we is better why change they that. watch the show. Oh, I'm very yeah. sorry. Well, so you said I've gotten on track. Yeah, I mean, you should have a segment um, called, like, All About Matthew, where you could just sit there and tell people these interesting stories That's about going to the nail salon. That is one of the greatest ideas kale. I've ever heard. Too and bad then I, didn't think about that I should have my own segment where I cook. And then people can actually listen to the recipe. Well, it sounds to me like you're going on and on about yourself now. Okay. Why don't we get to the Brussels right. sprouts? What do you do with the Brussels sprouts? Okay, so roasted uh, in the oven until they're nice and um, caramelized, brown like that. 
roasted yeah. with olive oil, salt, and pepper, mm -hmm. cauliflower, again, roasted with olive oil, salt, and pepper. Um, and so you just kind of do a, a rough chop. Okay. And then you can get either fresh figs um, or uh, dry figs. We have some dried figs here. Um, and just do a big, you know, or a rough chop. And now, do you um, remember in Raiders of the Lost Ark when oh Indiana goodness. Jones uh, was thinking and he was tossing that piece of fruit in the air and then the monkey got it and the monkey died because it was poison. They were trying to poison Indiana Jones. Yeah. Do you remember that? Was it a fig or was it a date? Um, I think I bet it was it, a date. I these don't are figs, know. though. Yes, these we're are just, figs. We're rough chopping a fig. Yeah. Okay. So these are dried figs, but again, you could also get fresh ones. They're not poison, oh, are they? Oh, gosh. They might be. Well, um, this could make the taste, yeah. uh, the taste portion could be interesting this time, folks. Then um, you can uh, sprinkle a little bit of goat cheese. This looks beautiful. And it already has, you know, a bunch of, all, well, not a bunch, but a fair amount of olive oil on, on it. Um, and then you just want to finish it off by drizzling it with a balsamic oh, reduction. Goodness. And that's your warm. Can we get a picture of that? I warm mean, winter salad. Warm winter salad. I think someone's at the door, but. Mm. That is amazing. Thank you. And healthy. Yes. And you can add in other ingredients. You see that Facebook page? I do. No, you don't. Another triumph by Jenna in Thank the you. Coach's Kitchen. And what do we want to tell the good folks out there? We'll see you next week. Coming up, more post play this week as Coach helps you find your advantage on the block. UK Athletics would like to thank our official Cornerstone partners, Central Bank, the official bank of UK Athletics, and Kentucky Farm Bureau, big on commitment. The tip of the week is brought to you by Window World, the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. Coach's tip of the week, welcome in everybody. It's a time in our show where we help our younger viewers become better players for the Second week in a row, joined by Kyvan Gooden Rogers from Lebanon, Kentucky. And we're talking about post play. How are you doing? Good, how are you? I really noticed you were posting up better last week in practice after that little lesson I taught on the coach's tip. Really benefited. It does. So now we have to continue building on our post play. Listen, you guards out there, you may need to post up too. You never know. So one thing we're gonna talk about this week is finding your advantage, all right? And what do you do once you find your advantage? So a lot of times you'll get in the post and you will feel the defense on one side or the other. And so it's very important, just a simple drop step can really help you be a good post player. So if Kyvan feels the, the, the defense, she wants to go away from the defense. So if she catches the ball here and the defense is on the high shoulder, she's going to go what we call a baseline drop step. And now sometimes the defense is fighting around on the low side and she would just step inside on the drop step. And so what's very important in the post is for you to be a two-handed player. So we really work hard with our post players. You need to be able to go to either hand and, and see where the defense is. If, if Kyvan can only go over her left shoulder with her right hand and the ball comes in and the defense is playing her down here, the defense will keep her away. So it's very important for her to be able to read where the defense is and then go away from the defense and use both hands, left or right, is extremely uh, important for a post player. So remember our good, low, powerful stance, showing 10 toes to the ball in our numbers, and then being able to go with either hand. That'll help you be a great post player. That's the coach's tip of the week. The tip of the week was brought to you by Window World, the preferred window installers of the Big Blue Nation. So, Coach, one more chance to see the team play South Carolina on Senior Day. That's right. It'll be a big game, and it'll be a great opportunity to come out and say goodbye to a great bunch of seniors. And uh, we always love Senior Day. It's always a great crowd, and I think it's one of the most special times in, in our season. So come on out and see them play. Absolutely. Get out there and support them. For Coach Mitchell, I'm Christy Thomas. We'll see you same time, same place next week. The Matthew Mitchell Show was presented by Fayette Heating and Air and was brought to you by Central Bank.
Commonwealth Credit Union, Kennedy's Wildcat Den, Kentucky Farm Bureau, Kentucky Office of Highway Safety, and by Kroger.